The SBA says that self-employed independent contractors, sole proprietors, can get a bigger and a higher PPP loan amount using a new formula. But the banks are saying otherwise. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Thank you for watching. We are Freedom Tax Accounting. We're an accounting firm where we have been providing quality tax and accounts, accounting services now for over 20 years. I apologize for my voice. I have a very sore throat, but I really wanted, we really wanted to give an update on what's happening with the new PPP loan formula that is available now for self-employed independent contractors, sole proprietors, basically anyone who files a Schedule C. We're in, we're in a very tough spot, and let me explain why. As you know, last week, the White House mentioned and informed everyone that they wanted the SBA to change the way the PPP loan is calculated for anyone who files a Schedule C. Instead of using Line 31, which is your net profit to calculate your PPP loan amount, the SBA is ordered to use now line number one, which is your gross receipts. That means that you're going to get a higher PPP loan amount and you can use your gross receipts up to $100,000. So the max you can get is $20,833. But this opens up additional funding for the self-employed independent contractors and sole proprietor because instead of basing the PPP loan amount on your net profit, now it's gross receipts, so you should be able to get a higher PPP loan amount. But here's the issue. The SBA has said that that new formula, it's starting now in March and supposedly started yesterday, March 1st. But the banks are saying that they cannot implement the new formula until they get further guidance from the SBA. Now, last week and yesterday, we called the SBA to ask them, how is this going to work? The SBA agents we talked to yesterday told us that the banks should be already doing the calculation using the new formula. But here's the thing. The, thing, the banks aren't doing it. Um, yesterday and last week, uh, we called several banks and they told us that they will not change their formula until they get official guidance from the SBA. And as of this morning, and once again, this may change this afternoon. I hope it does. Um, but last night, we tried to do several PPP loan applications with several lenders, and they are not accepting the new formula. They are still calculating the PPP loan amount for the Schedule C based on Line 31. So it's a very tough decision that People who want to apply for PPP, they have to make. <clears throat> Why? Because if you want to apply for the PPP, at least in our experience, the lenders, they're taking up to four weeks to approve your PPP loan. And the problem is, if, if nothing changes, this round of PPP is ending on March 31st. So if you want to apply for PPP1 or 2, you should be applying this week or at the latest next week because the lender is going to take at least, right? The, at least that's what we are seeing up to now is that they are taking long. So it puts small businesses in a tough decision where do I wait for the bank to implement the new formula and risk not getting my PPP loan approved on time. Because remember, by March 31st, you have to have an approved PPP loan. It's not that you 
submit your application before March 31st. So if you're a sole proprietor, self-employed, independent contractor, right now, today, once again, this can change very fast. And I really hope that the SBA clarifies this. And I really hope that the banks put their systems up to date quickly. But if we have seen anything in these 10 months that the PPP has been in existence, the banks are the ones who really delay most of the process with PPP. So I really hope that happens, that they are able to implement this quickly. But right now, it's hard for at least us to advise uh, independent contractors that are, that are calling our office, asking for advice. When should I apply? And right now, we really don't know because you either apply now and get a smaller amount, but you get something, or you wait for the bank to adjust their system, wait for the SBA, and you may your PPP loan may be a higher amount but it may not be approved on time. So we're in, a, we're in a top spot. I, and this is our recommendation, once again, make your own decisions. I would say wait at least a couple of more days, maybe by the end of this week, to see if the SBA finally comes out with guidance and see if the banks adjust their system this week but if by the end of this week, the banks are still not um, calculating the PPP loan based on the new formula, I would say just apply. It's better to get something than nothing. And if that's the case, I really hope that the SBA provides a way for people who get PPP that have already received PPP using the ORT the old formula, to be able to reapply to get the difference. I think that's only fair. But once again, I just wanted to share this information with you because uh, that's what we are going through. Uh, every day we are advising independent contractors, uh, small businesses that want PPP, and especially people who are self-employed. They're asking us for advice. What should I do? And, and it's pretty hard because it's either apply now and get a smaller amount and we don't know if you're going to be able to reapply to get the difference or wait for the banks and maybe you're going to get your PPP uh, application with a higher amount, but then you there is not enough time for your application to be approved before March 31st. And now I, I really think that the March 31st date is going to be pushed back, but we haven't heard anything. And especially last Friday, the new stimulus bill that passed the House of Representatives, um, there's nothing in that bill that says pushing the PPP a program date back. It does say that they are approving additional funding, but it doesn't say that they're going to change the March 31st end date. So anyway, we just wanted uh, to be honest. We just wanted to bring you uh, this information because that's what we're seeing every day here in our office where we are consulting uh, our clients that are looking for advice on what to do. And right now, it's tough because we, the SBA says, yes, you can apply with the new formula now. And the banks are saying, we're waiting for the SBA. So anyway, let's wait a couple of days. And if I really hope that something happens today or tomorrow, something has to happen pretty soon of, about the SBA coming out with guidance. As soon as they do, believe me, we're going to... Uh, do a video on it and keep you informed the best we can. Okay. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel <clears throat> and share this information with other business owners that can take advantage of this information. Okay. Stay safe, everyone. God bless you. Bye-bye.